My first point tonight, if a Sky News presenter had accused a federal MP of admitting to a criminal offence, I repeat, accused anybody of admitting, quote, to an offence under the criminal code, when that person, Andrew Lamming MP, had never admitted to such a thing, so he sued the journalist for defamation. Here we go again. The ABC's Louise Milligan. How many cases have there been against her? And the matter was, quote-unquote, settled. $79,000 in damages plus legal costs. An estimated total of somewhere around $130,000. And your ABC has not contested the defamation, just said it was an error. And the same result has happened in the Christian Porter case. And the same journalist, Louise Milligan. What's more, the QC for Milligan said Milligan, quote, had not admitted liability in any way. The senior counsel for Lamming made a simple point. Milligan has consented to judgment. Judgment is the definition of liability. Now it's being reported that your ABC, taxpayers' money, will cover Milligan's costs. Your ABC, you, the taxpayer, funded her defence through our taxes and now funding you a substantial but confidential damages settlement. Shouldn't the government prevent the ABC from using public funds to defend defamation cases on private social media accounts? And if the taxpayer is financing all of this, shouldn't the full details of the settlement be made public? If we're paying for it, we surely own it. When asked why, the ABC says, quote, particular and exceptional circumstances. And then you wake up today to see pictures of protesters vandalising Parliament House, burning a pram and spraying graffiti onto the pillars of the People's House, the seat of Parliament. Then off to the Prime Minister's official residence, the lodge, and defacing the wall. Five people, three men and two women, were arrested at Parliament, three more at the lodge. They should not be on bail. They should be in jail on remand. But as I said last night to Peter, as you sow, so shall you reap. The Morrison government has shown no leadership at all in addressing these Marxist vandals, and they mean that is for years. Last week, they targeted the office, remember, of the federal treasurer. And Sir Thomas More argued that, quote, silence betokens consent. It's time someone in the national government spoke up and condemned this stuff by simply saying it will not happen in a country we govern. Weakness in leadership everywhere.